We would be grateful if you liked and subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification button. In this episode we ride on the road train, pass fast flowing rivers, see snow on the mountains, meet some trolls, have coffee in a cafe, get lost with inside of the ship, watch Annie take a dip, eat charcuterie and chocolate truffles in vines and finish the day dancing to Beatles songs in the piazza. Although Alden is only around 30 miles as the crow flies from Garanga, the mountains mean it's a two hour journey by road, and by ship it was an overnight journey going down the Garanga Fjord out into the North Sea and then up the Nord Fjord to Alden. The ship berthed a short walk from the centre of Alden. And here we are in Alton. It's 20 past seven. People are on their trips. Already in the excursions, already leaving. We've just woken up. After having breakfast in our cabin, we headed off the ship at a quarter to ten. We decided to take the road train tour, which cost us just under £20 each. This is the route that the road train took. There were several of these road trains and it wasn't long before we pulled away. Martin decided to take an open top bus tour and they took this picture of us from the bus. There are two churches in Oldham. This one, Old Oldham Church, was built in 1759. 
This is the new era Oldham Church, built in 1934. During the concert, inside walls of the church began shivering. This lake is called Flowen, which is Norwegian for flood. <laughs> In uh, a stop on the train at the moment, beautiful glaciers and waterfalls and all sorts of things all that happens.
arrived at the shopping area, we got off the road train and had a look around. There's a whole host of creatures here, including Jill. We stopped in the centre of Oldham and most people have got off the train. It's about a 10 minute walk back to the boat. I'm sitting outside a cafe in Oldham. Jill's gone in to, to buy the coffees. Much more pleasant here than it was in Bergen, although it's still as oppressively humid. We're told that the toilets here are free, but I'm looking to do Lovely breeze back there. Okay. wherever we go. Looking back with the coffees, uh, she's having a, an iced, iced coffee. An iced coffee. Ice coffee. Ice cafe. And I had a a cappuccino, which is a lovely cappuccino, really strong coffee, but it was about a thimble full of coffee and foam. <laughs> Very pleasant, but not what I would call cappuccino. <laughs> There's quite a few little shops here. This is the centre of Elton. Toilets were indeed free. Cafes over there. Both the uh, open top bus ride and the train stop here to drop people off who want to get off here. And it's about a, they say a five minute walk, so make that 20 minute walk back to the ship from here. From just uh, round here somewhere, you can see the ship from, I should go and have a look. See that. Good old Sky Princess. Thomas Rain has now arrived. It's not very hard, hopefully it will stay just like this. It's not that much of a walk to the boat. And we do have Max, but uh, hopefully we won't need them. There's a whole municipal area. There's about 3,000 people, but this is the main, this is the centre and there's about half a dozen or so shops, all of which are clothes shops. Oh, and there's a co-op supermarket and a little cafe. And the nice clear water. This is where you can catch a bus to Lowen, where you will find one of the steepest cable cars in the world, taking people 3,317 feet up to the top of Mount Hoven. Lowen is about four miles from Alden. Having taken a wrong turning and ending at a dead end, we were eventually back on track. Jill's off getting a burger from the Salty Dog Grill. And this is the view we've got up on the Lido deck by the pool. Incredible, isn't it? Stopped and the sun's come out. Alden is famed for the routing send off given to cruise ships, but for some reason it didn't happen on this occasion. As we'd had a burger at lunchtime, we weren't very hungry in the evening, so we tried out the charcuterie in Vines. This is one of the casual dining venues which costs $14.99 unless you have a package that includes them. What you see here is a single portion which we shared. 
the chocolate truffles come with the charcuterie. After uh, vibes and this cool treat, which was very nice, uh, we headed to, well, we tried to get into Princess Live, but it was, as usual, it was absolutely rammed. So we ended up in uh, the Vista Lounge, where comedian coming in at nine. Installed the Laugh Lounge on this voyage. Welcome to the Laugh Lounge. Hope you're well, yes? Anyone feeling the motion of the ocean? Yeah. Anyone feeling the wind? Mm-hmm. Uh, if, uh, don't mind, there's a, a bucket or two around, I'm sure there is. What's happened to the first round? Afterwards, we went to Princess Live for a Beatles trivia quiz. We finished the evening in the piazza, watching Asian Soul performing Beatles songs. Sixth and final episode, we arrive in Stavanger, follow in peaceful footsteps, browse through a street market, stroll through the old town, stop for a sandwich, visit a propaganda museum, look at a collection of herring cam labels, see herrings being cured, are given the opportunity to taste the product, witness a rainstorm, raise an eyebrow over pricing, watch the Olympics, experience the Baked Alaska Parade and return to Southampton. Thanks for watching. We'd be very grateful if you liked and subscribed.